Dear students, today we will discuss some of the internet applications. So the early network based applications which were using the network, which means that there were two computers, one is accessing or requesting the network or service and other is giving that service. So one of the earliest applications are news reader applications, file transfer applications, or accessing another computer from great distance. So these three applications remain very popular as internet applications in the start. So we will be discussing one each of these one by one. So for example, when we talk about news reader applications, this means that there is a client which want to access retrieve the news from the server so um, there is there uh, there is a network news transfer protocol which is basically used to access the news we have learned that protocol is a set of standard of communication between two devices so the protocol which was used to access the email we discussed it was SMTP here the protocol which is being used to access the news is called news transfer network news transfer protocol then there is another application to access the files that are available on the remote location so to access those files from remote location, we used file transfer protocol, FTP. So these protocols are even available and being used nowadays. And then accessing remote computer. So for example, there is a computer which is available at very large distance and you want to access it over the network. So you use Telnet protocol so whenever we say that we want to access that computer which is far away we normally say do telnet with that particular computer so we have used news transfer protocols we have used telnet we have used file transfer protocols so all of these protocols were defined or designed previously for some specific applications However, nowadays, very popular and very interesting protocol known as HTTP Hypertext Transfer Protocol is being used. That is basically a very, this is not a specialized protocol that has been designed to accommodate almost all of the needs, whether the client want to read the news, whether client want to transfer the files or whether client want to access a computer that is available on a very long location. So today web browser web servers and browsers are more sophisticated and many more applications are being handled with one common protocol known as hypertext transfer protocol. So from now we will further be discussing the applications of http uh, in the uh, dimension of email voice over ip and internet multimedia streaming in the next modules so if we summarize today's topic we have learned different protocols that were designed for different applications and we have ended up to http protocol which can accommodate all of the needs of previously defined multiple protocols.